In the previous video, we cloned the repository and set up the WebDriver IO framework on our local machine and then had a look at the configuration section. Let us now have a look at the folder structure first and let us start with resources folder. The end-to-end -end testing is all about finding elements, doing some action and then expecting the desired result. To find an element on a page, you need CSS selectors. If you are not aware of selectors, I would recommend you to have basic understanding of it before writing any test cases. Here I have created separate files to manage page specific selectors. For example, all product listing page selectors are kept in PLP page locators file, which we will import where required. This is always good to keep selectors in a separate file and then reuse. This makes the code more manageable and clear. You can observe that I have used simple attributes for selectors except for the last one where I have used a getter method. The difference here is that for many predefined methods provided by the framework, we need only the selectors, whereas few need the exact element to operate upon. In getter method, we are returning the element directly. The selector used inside the browser.element method is a class and can return more than one element, but browser.element will pick only the first instance and will ignore the rest. Next is spec folder. In this folder, I have segregated the test cases page wise. All test cases for one particular page are kept in one folder. You can name the folders as per your need. I have kept it page specific. You can keep test cases together as per your requirement and name the folders accordingly. Next, we are going to talk about the files naming convention. Very important aspect of this boilerplate for me at least. You may have different opinion. You can see that the file names have these prefixes in front underscore a underscore and underscore l underscore. The logic behind this naming convention is that all files which have prefix underscore l underscore will be executed only if user passes the parameter large for the option hyphen b for breakpoint. There are more options underscore s underscore underscore xs underscore and underscore m underscore which are for small extra small and medium breakpoints respectively. You can find the complete list in specs.js file. In case any file have underscore a underscore as prefix that file will be executed for any breakpoint means for all breakpoints also it does not mean that you cannot have more than one prefix you can have underscore l underscore s underscore in case the test cases of a file are supposed to be executed for large as well as small breakpoints but not for extra small and medium the reason I kept this naming convention is to identify the scope of a test file by just reading its name. Let's have a look at these test cases in the next video.